Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Mumbi here. So in this video, so I thought I will let uh, briefly explain what is the type, uh, what, what what exactly is the diabetes in simple words and how to classify this diabetes in a simple way and uh, what are the causes for uh, the different types of diabetes and what is the mode of approach for the treatment of uh, different types of diabetes. So overall what is diabetes? So the diabetes basically it is an increase in blood glucose level. So as you know that uh, glucose is a kind of carbohydrate and this glucose it is needed as an energy source for, uh, it is a universal energy uh, source for all of our cells. So glucose has to get into the cell and will undergo metabolism uh, to give energy to our cells. Now, Glucose is a, it's a polar molecule, so although it doesn't have a, a net positive or negative charge, but it has, in order to get into the cells, it has to pass through the membrane and the membrane has got a transporter called glucose transporter. So glucose has to pass through that glucose transporter to get into the cell, thereby it can be modified, it can undergo metabolism to give energy. So what happens is glucose is there in your blood, it has to pass through the cell membrane we are that gate so consider that gate as sorry that transporter as a gate i told you there is a glucose transporter on the cell membrane so consider that as a gate and in order to open the gate for the glucose to get in you need a key so because the gate is locked so you got to unlock the uh, gate so that means so that glucose can get in and the key for that is insulin so there is something called as insulin which is a hormone coming from beta cell subpancreas. What this insulin does? So insulin is going to unlock the gate, thereby glucose can easily get into the cell. So that means insulin is to interact with the glucose transporter, especially GLUT4 transporter, glucose transporter type 4. Uh, it has to bind with, uh, it needs insulin. So insulin will bind with insulin receptors and that will, the insulin signaling mechanism will open the GLUT4 transporter and the glucose can get in and thereby glucose is metabolized and that's how blood glucose can get into the cell and the blood glucose can be reduced to the normal range. So this is what happens with the help of insulin. So insulin is basically acting as a key here. Now in diabetes, so there is an increase in blood glucose level, whatever the type of diabetes it is. Now we can mainly classify diabetes into two types. One is a type 1 diabetes, other is type 2 diabetes. Now what is the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes, there is no insulin present. So basically the beta cells of pancreas are completely destroyed in type 1 diabetes. That means initially there is a very very less insulin is available and eventually there is no insulin, absolute insulin, uh, absolutely there is no insulin available. That means insulin that is the key is not there to open the lock. That means glucose that is there in the blood is no way it is getting into skeletal muscles, uh, adipose tissue and cardiac tissue. So because of this what happens, blood glucose will rise because it's not going into these major tissues. So that's what is the problem in type 1 diabetes. In type 2 diabetes what happens? In type 2 diabetes initially we have a lot of insulin, it means you have more keys uh, to open the lock but problem is the lock is not responding to the key. There may be the key is bent or key is broken or something like that. So it's basically lock you are not unable, means you are unable to open the lock here. So gate is not opening up although you have insulin here. So that means glucose is no way it is going into the cell. So what is the problem here? This kind of the issue we call it as insulin resistance. So that means insulin is there but it is resistant, it is not working, it is unable to uh, interact with the insulin receptor and thereby opening up the gate that is a GLUT4 transporter. Eventually what happens over a period of time, so this insulin synthesis and secretion from beta cells of pancreas will also decrease, eventually there is a decrease in insulin, so that means even that you know, there is a peripheral resistance and also there is a decrease in insulin, so combination of this will lead to hyperglycemia. So this, these are two major difference here between uh, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 since the beginning you don't have insulin. In type 2 initially you have insulin but it's not working and eventually you don't have insulin. So overall blood glucose rises in both the condition. Now what are the signs and symptoms of diabetes? 
So the diabetes class 6 signs and symptoms, we have polyuria, polyphagia and polydipsia. This means what? Polyuria means frequent urination, polyphagia means frequently person is, used, uh, uh, is eating and uh, polydipsia is uh, uh, thirsty, excess thirstiness and then drinking a lot of water and also uh, uh, patient may have blurry vision, patient may have uh, like decrease in the uh, time of, uh, so basically the wounds do not heal in time and also in uh, this, these are the common signs and symptoms for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Now if you look at type 1 diabetes, so type 1 diabetes patients additionally they may have uh, irritability, they may have more changes and more importantly there is a, a sudden loss of weight. So in type 1 diabetes you see sudden loss of weight whereas in type 2 diabetes you don't really see that sudden loss of weight there. In fact, type 2 diabetes patients may have tingling and numbness in their feet, in their um, forearms. So that's something which you generally don't see in uh, type 1 diabetes at the time of diagnosis. Now, how soon these signs and some symptoms develop between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes patients symptoms and signs develop within weeks. That means it's a sudden manifestation of a disorder. Whereas in type 2 diabetes, it takes years. Sometimes patient even doesn't know that they are, that patient has uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, doesn't know that there is increase in blood glucose level. Uh, sometimes they, the di disease is diagnosed only when the complications are seen. So then the uh, patient has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So the, the manifestation of the disease, it, it takes time in type 2 diabetes. It may take years. Whereas in type 2, type 1 diabetes, it may manifest within weeks. Now, what are the risk factor for type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes risk factor strong family history. So it means uh, uh, parents may have type 1 diabetes or maybe sibling may have type 1 diabetes. So that means uh, person having sibling or parent having type 1 diabetes will be at risk of developing type 1 diabetes compared to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes also family history is there but not as strong as type 1 diabetes. But additionally in type 2 diabetes, so patient uh, may be overweight, patient may be obese, especially abdominal obesity, physical inactivity, all these are uh, because adipose tissue will increase and that causes uh, increase in adipokines which will cause uh, peripheral insulin resistance. This is one of the major thing with uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus. Now, how do you diagnose it? Diagnosis is based on uh, fasting plasma glucose estimation and if required we can do uh, after food, 2 hours after food plasma glucose estimation and also we will do HbA1c that is glycated hemoglobin estimation and for type 1 diabetes you can estimate uh, insulin levels and see what is the level of insulin compared to normal. Now how do you treat this uh, two kinds of diabetes here? So when it comes to the treatment, our ultimate aim is to bring down the glucose level. So make sure hyperglycemia is controlled. How to do that? In type 1 diabetes, the treatment is clear because type 1 diabetes is because of uh, absolutely no insulin available. That means you need to give insulin injection here. So daily insulin injection is must in type 1 diabetes because patient do not have sufficient insulin or no insulin available. So you need a key to open the lock. So as long as your key is there, you can open the lock and allow the glucose to get into the cell. That means important treatment here in type 1 diabetes is you need to give daily insulin. It can be uh, given to using the syringe or insulin pumps, different methods are available. Whereas type 2 diabetes, it is all about uh, lifestyle modification, dietary modification and losing the weight and maintaining the normal weight. So that means it is more about uh, the lifestyle here in type 2 diabetes. So if you may uh, maintain the normal weight, decrease uh, uh, the intake of carbs and also uh, means uh, work with the dietitian, work with the nutrition, make a diet plan and adhere to it and also increase the physical activity thereby your weight maintenance is there so that is most of the time it will take care of blood glucose level if the blood glucose level is not controlled initially with the proper uh, nutrition and lifestyle modification so uh, one or two additional medication can be taken initially and then gradually withdrawn and then uh, follow lifestyle modification and maintain the normal blood glucose level and all this we need to do whether it is in type 1 and type 2 
to prevent complication or to prolong the complication appearance of complication for few more years than otherwise so this is what is all in brief about uh, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes and diagnosis differences and all that i hope this video has helped you in understanding uh, in a simple way uh, what is type 1 and type 2 diabetes and how to diagnose them so type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes itself is a major uh, topic here so it is difficult to cover in a few minutes but i try to explain you in simple words in a simple way uh, about the difference and the types so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video till then you take care